Welcome to One Point Projects Tutorials. This time we will take a closer look at resource management and planning. Similar to projects, the resources area shows the resources navigation to the left and different overviews to the right. If you select a resource pool in the navigation, you get an overview of its contained resources. Pools are typically used to model departments, teams and similar organisational units in One Point. In order to create a new resource in a given pool, for example an employee, simply click on New Resource. There are only a few fields that are mandatory, as always indicated via boldface field titles. You have to provide a unique name and an availability, which is by default 100%. In order for assigned activities to show up in a user's activity list, you will also want to link the new resource to a user. The description field is often used to provide the full name if a short name is used for the resource name. Hourly rates are often only specified on the pool level in order to keep system administration simple. However, you can easily override pool rates and enter different specific rates for your new resource. You can also specify absences for your resource under availability, for example an employee's planned vacation, which in turn will be taken into account for scheduling calculations. Save your new resource. In the same way, you can also easily create a new resource pool. In order for a project manager to plan resources in a project, you will first need to assign these resources to the project in question. To assign a number of resources or pools to a project, simply select several resources at the same time, click on Assign to Project and select your project. You will need manager level permissions on these resources to carry out this step. Let's move on to the next tab, Allocation. Here you see a tabular overview of your resources and how they are allocated across all active projects over time. You can select different view types, plan or actual, as well as time periods and time units. Under Utilisation, you will find a graphical visualisation of your resource utilisation across all projects, which helps you to optimise your resource planning and to avoid resource overloading and conflicts. Similar to other time-based overviews, you can choose between different time units. The second graphical resource overview displays a histogram visualising resource utilisation based on project probabilities. The additional blue line indicates resource availability over time and also takes unavailabilities into account. The main application for the resource histogram is to assess future resource demand based on current resource planning. So far you have seen how to create new resources, how to put a project team together and how to get an overview of your overall resource situation. Now we take a closer look at how to plan your resources within a given project. For this, we go to the Projects area and navigate to our project. The best planning view for resource planning is the activity list, as it shows both assigned resources and the responsible resource directly in a tabular view. Click on Edit to create a working copy of your project plan. If you are still missing some resources in your project team, you can use the resource icon in the Edit toolbar to quickly add additional resources to your project. All cells in the activity list that have a light blue background are directly editable. You can also easily navigate between cells using the Tab key, just like in a spreadsheet. Typically, you will first want to enter the total planned effort of the activity in person hours or days. Next, assign the activity to one or more resources and thus distribute the effort between them. You can either use the resource chooser or you can directly type in resource names, separated by semicolons. When typing in resource assignments, you can also specify hours or percentages. By default, the first assigned resource is also used as the responsible resource, but you can easily change this in the responsible column. By double-clicking an activity, you get the activity details. Here you can also specify resource assignments, which especially makes sense if you are using long resource names. Sometimes you do not know if the resources you are working with are also assigned to other projects in parallel. The Utilisation Planning view provides you with a quite unique visualisation to help you tackle this problem. On the left you see your project team on the first level and all currently assigned activities per resource on the second level. On the right, you see the background utilisation originating from all other projects as shaded bars 
and the total utilisation including this project in the form of solid bars. You can directly move activity bars in time or change their duration in order to resolve resource conflicts. In addition, you can even drag activities between resources in order to reassign them. This makes optimising your resource planning a lot easier. Finally, do not forget to check in your project plan when you are satisfied with your planning changes. Only then will your new plan version become visible for other users and new or updated resource assignments be distributed to your project contributors' activity lists. Plan your resources efficiently and ensure an optimal resource utilisation. With one point, you can easily and quickly identify resource bottlenecks or overload and stay on top of your future resource demand. Start now with One Point's PPM solution. Get your free trial at www.onepoint-projects.com.